Hey guys, today I'm filming a makeup to clutter and chopping block video. I did it this way at the end of last year and really enjoyed it and surprised myself. So I wanted to do it again this year. So basically I went through my entire collection and I had two empty baskets, one for things I wanted to declutter and one for things that I wanted to be in my chopping block for 2024. And the baskets have overflowed, you guys. I pulled so many things out of my collection, which is both exciting and like shocking and embarrassing and appalling because I still have so much, even though all of those things have been pulled out of my collection and are set aside separately, I still have so much here. So hopefully I can keep that in mind when I'm testing the chopping block things. But if you are interested in purchasing anything that I have decluttered, or even if you wanna make me an offer on something in my chopping block, please let me know in the comments that you're interested in something and then DM me on Instagram if you comment here, I'll make sure to check my Instagram because sometimes the DMs like they filter weird. So I would love to be able to sell some of these products if I can, but I would rather just like sell them to someone in particular than try to like post them on Poshmark or any of those other sites. I just like, so it's not my favorite option, but yeah, let me know if you're interested in anything. I would love to sell some products. It always makes some things a little bit easier let go of when I can sell them and I will of course be sharing a lot of things with friends and family but a lot of things have been taken out of my collection one way or another and boy do I have a lot of things to test out for 2024 to get my final thoughts on but without further ado let's go through my collection. Since my last declutter video I have gotten rid of three things. My sister was out of mascara so I gave her a mini Ilia Limitless Lash and a mini NARS Climax Mascara. And then I also gave my friend Stephanie my ColourPop Clay It Cool palette, which I never used. So those are the things that I have already left my collection. So I just finished cleaning my vanity top, which needed it so bad. And from my setting sprays, I'm going to be decluttering and unfortunately trashing this Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. The nozzle is totally clogged. I have tried to fix it so many times and had, had no luck. I might play around a little bit more, but I would love your tips for unclogging a nozzle. I never even got to use this, which makes me so, so sad. But then for the base products here, this drawer is a little bit of a mess. So for primer, I'm mostly happy here. But I'm going to put this one in my chopping block, the Cali Rice So Blown. Because I remember when I used this a couple times last year, I feel like my skin was like a little bit irritated. But it could have been the skincare I was using. I mean, potentially the Smashbox one. I got this in PR, but I haven't used it at all yet. So I'm going to leave that there for my concealers back here. Now I only have a few. I think I could get through all of those. But... I am going to put this with my chopping block, the Maybelline Superstay Vitamin C Skin Tint. People love this, and I don't. But I want to see if this is something that I can make work and want to use up, or if I should just declutter it. Then for my liquid and cream cheek, there's lots of things in here that I love. You can see I have overflown here, and I think I'm just going to do more chopping block things, not declutter. I know, guys, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to put my chopping block, my Rare Beauty Bronzer Sticks. I honestly wish that I had returned these. I think one of their newer shades would have worked better for me, but it wasn't available at the time. I have Happy Soul and Power Boost, and really just like the undertones aren't perfect for me. Happy Soul is a little red. Power Boost is a little olive for me. So I want to play around there. I like all of these. And then... I think I will also put these two products in my chopping block. So this is NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer in number one. I feel like this also ends up looking a little olive tone on me. And then for this Kaja, I think that this is a very good product. I just don't reach for it very much, but it's good enough that I don't want to go ahead and declutter it right now. So that's all that I'm going to take from this drawer. So cluttering the one setting spray and then I put one two three four five six things in my chopping block pile next we've got powders bronzers and highlights 
I really plan on doing a lot of powder panning next year. Bronzers. I think it, you want to add this cover effects one to my chopping block. I just don't know that I need that. And maybe my Becca one too. And then maybe the two of these. I wasn't really loving these as much as I wanted to. And I think I'm good with everything else. I mean, what about my Fenty? Yeah, I'll put Fenty as a chopping block item too. But I think I really like the rest of everything else. For my highlighters, definitely going to put this RMS one in my chopping block because I need to find other ways to apply it. These Sigma highlights, I don't love these as so much as I want. Moonbeam, I'm going to put my chopping block. Savannah, you can see I've got more use out of that. I'm going to keep that for now. I'm going to put this M Cosmetics one in my chopping block. I just don't know that's my favorite formula. The rest of these I love and am going to keep. But something that was in my makeup basket this month would be the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Enlighten. And I think that this is just too light for me, so I am gonna go ahead and declutter this, which is so hard to do. Next we have blush and face palette. So it's looking real crazy over here. Very full, a lot going on. I'm gonna declutter this. I wish that I returned it when I first bought it. It's the Natasha Dona Rose Cheek Duo. I mean, nothing's wrong with the quality. I think it's very nice, but I just don't reach for it very much. So I'm going to get rid of that. Then I'm going to get rid of this Tarte Cream Blush in the shade Peach Sunset. I got this in a set and I just don't reach for it very much. Oh, this is hard, but I think I'm going to declutter this Tower 28 Magic Hour if I can't some. If I can't find somebody to take it, I'll take it back. But it's just like a little bit dewier than I prefer for a cream blush. And I think I've got similar shades. Yeah, this one from Sigma and Corte Rosa is close enough. And I like that formula better. I might actually put this MAC one in my chopping block. I know people love these Glow Play blushes. And I don't think anything's wrong with this. But I don't know how much I use it. I mean, I'm not very good about using my cream blushes in general. So I think that will be chopping block. And let's see, I think these Fido Surgeons one, I will put my chopping block as well. If these were cheaper, I think I'd probably declutter them already. And then I've got this Spectral Shine and Fresh Fog. I changed my mind. I'm actually going to declutter these, the highlighter, the two brushes that I have, I need to wash them. And then I'm, ugh, I would love to be able to sell the bundle, but I just hate the way that like this looks. I want to clean it up a bit and then I think try to sell it. So let me know if you're interested, but the phytosurgeons just did not work for me, unfortunately. And it makes me sad. That's a lot of money wasted. I think I feel pretty good about the rest of these cream blushes. I definitely need to use my Rare Beauty ones more, but I want to make that like a goal this year. So I think I'll keep these. I really do like these two shades from Merit. So I'll keep those, but I did put some chopping block blushes in my makeup basket for this month. And I have a few more videos left for this month and I haven't worn these yet. So you know, I can make a decision between then and now, but you'll see. So I'm going to put this one in the chopping block M Cosmetics Color Drops in Venetian Rose. Then I have this Merit Flush Balm in Mood. This did look so beautiful when I wore it the other day. And it's unique to my collection. So... Yeah, I think I'll just keep it. But one that I will get rid of is this Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush Stick in Overruled. It is not as neutral as it looked online. It's more of like a rosy berry color. 
So I'm gonna declutter that one, which makes me so sad because I did not get it that discounted. And I know a lot of Jacqueline stuff's on sale right now, y'all, but it wasn't when I bought it. And then I do have a basket over here on the side that was chopping block stuff from last year. And I still have this Jacqueline putty highlighter and iced. I'm still gonna hang on to it and try to figure it out. I mean, it's gonna go in my chopping block again to try to make a decision. I did have this Ciate blush in my chopping block. This is Deep Love. I actually ended up really enjoying it this month. So this is a keep for sure. But then something I'm not so sure about that I'm going to put in my chopping block is this Too Faced Cloud Crush and Velvet Crush. It's fine, but nothing special. So I'm going to put that in the chopping block pile as well. Then I have a Natasha Denona Bloom cheek palette. I can't remember if I had already decluttered this or it was just a choppy block thing. I am gonna declutter it. I just need to find a friend to give it to, but it's so hard to let that go. And some other blushes for my chopping block. Cover Effects Pink Dahlia. I'm gonna put it back in the chopping block. I swatched it and it looks really pretty. And same for the balm frat boy this you know i just have a little bit of nostalgic feels for this and i did like repurchase it a couple years ago to have a fresh one tart captivating i think is a really pretty shade so i'm gonna put that in the chopping block again i think i can declutter tart exposed it's just not my favorite type of shade and i don't really love that blush formula and then i have this highlight that I think I decluttered previously, I think I'm gonna maybe like repress this and pass it on to a friend because I don't like giving people something that has all this pan in it. And I know that this would take me a really long time to finish up. It took me so long to hit pan, so that's still gonna stay, stay gone. But then looking at these other blushes here, this is my like, I'm not so sure about area. This is Warm Honey. I wanted to clutter it. I think I have enough colors similar. Mac Peach Twist. I actually really love that one. Tarte Bide Bay. I'm going to keep that too. I'm going to put this glowish blush in my chopping block. Carrying Coral. I think I'm going to get rid of this little Lottie London blush in Haze. It's really great quality, but I just don't reach for it a ton. This is Becca's Snapdragon. I think I'm going to finally declutter this one because I think that this one from MAC is similar enough, but that I would wear this shade over this shade. So that's going to go... Seychelles is going to be a chopping block blush again. It's just odd to me because there's this nice, like, seemingly warm nude blush. And then you have this, like, cool tone, icy shimmer to it that wears me out a bit. Ciate doll face. I'm just going to keep this. I think that these are good blushes. I think I already passed on one of them, which now, like, makes me sad and I wish that I kept. I'm going to Cherub. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to try to use it more in spring, but I'm going to try to sell persimmon. This is just not a color that looks good on me. I'm mad at myself because I bought these full price because I thought it was like a limited restock and then they were around forever. So that just makes me sad. So let me put some of my overflow blushes here. Definitely keeping this one. Love this other Ciate blush. So that's definitely staying. Then for some face palettes here. I'm going to put this MAC Highlight Palette. I wanted to clutter up at the same time. I don't know that I can. Okay. Chopping block. It's good quality, but I don't know that I need it. Then I've got some Ofra highlighters. This is Glaze Donut Cloud 9 Space Baby. This is going to be chopping block as well. I know I love this formula, but I just don't know if I love those shades. This Odin's Eyes Soul Mon Palette. I'm going to... Put this in the chopping block as well. My friend Amanda just sent it to me. I haven't even played with it yet, but you know I wanna I wanna test that out. I'm gonna keep 
my MAC blushes. So I've got some more single blushes back here, actually. I think I'm going to put these Benefit ones in my chopping block, which makes me sad. I went hog wild on these when they first released. A lot of these I got with Ulta points. This is something I would probably try to resell. I did have these three Benefit blushes that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Pom Pom, Terra, and Moon. So those are amazing. But I'm not so sure about these. So I think all these will go in my chopping block. So we've got Sunny, Willa. Oh, that's Mavi. I should be using that now. Krista, which is freaking scary. And Shelly. And then also here, I've got the Lawless Watermelon Blush, which I'm going to put in my chopping block as well. And same with this Pat McGrath Duo in Aphrodite Amore. I just feel like this shade makes it like a little light for my preference. I have another duo from them that I really love. Let's see. I love all my Sigma duos. These are staying. Even though this one I don't use as much. I just feel like I've got to keep that one. But I'm going to put this in the chopping block. This Pat McGrath Bridgerton one. Because I just got very discounted one of her holiday palettes that has this blush in it which is nymphette and then this pink blush cherish i just don't think i get the most use out of and then we've got venus nectar highlight which is really pretty so i need to test that to see that's something that i would end up selling this is something i've been on the fence about so many times this nars wanted palette but no i think i'm going to keep this i do think that this one will be chopping block this earth angel Four scope from Benefit. I shouldn't have purchased this because I have Cookie. I have Hula. I wanted it for this blush. I do not like Georgia. It doesn't show up on me. So put that chopping block. This one, I'm surprised, but I'm going to declutter this. The Lorac Luxe Diamond Golden Hour Palette. This is an incredible highlighter formula, but most of these shades are too dark for me. My sister has a single that she really likes. So I'm gonna give her this palette. I bet you it will take her ages to use it, but I'm gonna give that to her. I'm gonna keep this, keep this, keep this. This Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty, I'm gonna put this in my chopping block. I do not like it as much as the first one. Then in this Magnetic palette. This is something I've already decluttered. I think that I need to put in another palette. It's all of the lights. And then this is Star Island. I want to put this in my chopping block to see if I need to keep this compared to some of the other highlights I have. Wow, this drawer is now looking just so much better. You know what? I am going to put mood in my chopping block because for some reason I don't feel as happy looking at it as I do like all these other cream blushes. So yeah, I'll take that one out. But yeah, okay, the stores make me feel better. This is my backup drawer here. This is basically all eyebrow products. Then I've got some mascaras. So I'm bringing you down here for a specific reason. You can see you got a lot of lip balms here. Some face products. That needs to go over there. I'm gonna hang on to everything here. Probably do not need to keep this, but I will for now. But I am going to declutter this. Lawless Forget the Faux Lip Gloss in Rosy Outlook. It's the clear shade. I already have one and I hardly ever use clear glosses. So this is a backup I got in PR. I'm gonna give this to Jean because she really loves this. All right, moving on to eye products. I'm gonna be brave. I am going to declutter my phytosurgeons eyeshadows as well. I just cannot get them to work for me again. I'm going to hope to sell these in a bundle. My phytosurgeon stuff has hardly been touched. So definitely let me know if you would be interested in buying this. So then I have some brow products I was going to try to pan in 2024. I've changed my mind, y'all. I am going to pass this Petra Top Brow Wax on to a friend. I got this in PR. I've used it like once. Then I've got this Benefit Cabral Pomade. This is old in my collection. It's the best blonde brow pomade I've ever seen. Y'all know I'm already heavy handed and I feel like brow pomades are just gonna look crazy on me. So that one's actually gonna get tossed. Then here are my chopping block eyeliners from the past. 
I'm going to keep this blue, which is big splash. I'm gonna keep the black swerve. I'm gonna get rid of the Odin's eye. I'm gonna get rid of peach fuzz, get rid of Bay Breeze, get rid of Fluffy, and then these two will go on my chopping block, Flame and Icebreaker. The reason I'm getting rid of those more like peachy corally ones is I have this one from ColourPop, which is metallic and I love it. And these are all favorites here. So these are all gonna stay. My shadow sticks, everything here is gonna stay. These ColourPop Super Shocks, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter all of these. These two were older and will be thrown away. These ones are still good and will be given away. Then we've got these products over here. I am going to put all five of these in my chopping block. I just don't use them enough and I don't feel ready to declutter them today. I'm officially out of room in the chopping block box. All right, this is gonna be tough. We've got my single shadows and my small palettes here. I feel like I should get rid of these little Natasha Denona singles, especially this one because I have this palette now but it's one of my favorite shades so I feel like I can't retro glam xenon nope these are cute I'm gonna keep them but I will put this merit shadow in my chopping block I just did not have the easiest time blending this and I picked a pretty dark color those are gonna stay let's see I am going to put this mini metropolis in my chopping block. These colors, I do not like them. I do like these though. So I'll be chopping block and I don't feel brave enough to declutter. Same with these two here. This is cute. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep this one. I liked when I wore this most recently, but I will put peak in my chopping block. I love this color, but you know, the rest of these are not that unique. I like the rest of those. I should get rid of that one, but I won't. Let's see. Layla. No, I'm going to keep that too. Okay keeping the rest of these keeping keeping back here my m cosmetics these are very overpriced i like magic hour i'm keeping it these two i'm going to declutter with hopes to sell faded clementine and venetian rose these have only been used a few times. Let me know if you're interested. We can chat prices. Then I'm gonna put these in my chopping block, this Pat McGrath palette. Nude Allure, Sigma Magnifique. Just don't use them as much as I would like. Then I think I'm finally gonna declutter this dose of colors. I love Sada E palette. It's beautiful, but I haven't used it in a while. Then I'm gonna put this in my chopping block, Rowan 11 and 11 quad. I don't want it to dry up, so I need to see if I like it or not, make a decision so I can pass it on if I don't. But I feel pretty good about this drawer now. So for my palette drawers, I actually have organized these by like most favorite and not my most fave. When I did a video on cutting my collection in half, these are the ones that I said that I would keep. But I also did a video on palettes that I would declutter if I could get my money back. And I've got those set to the side and I do think that I can get rid of a few of those today, which are going to be my Alamar palettes. This is Spanglish and Reina del Caribe volume one. These are so stunning, great quality. I never use them. Chopping block is gonna be 
Desert Sunset from Aether Beauty. I like these shades here, but these other ones are a little bit more cool toned that I typically like. I'm gonna put Too Faced Gingerbread Spice in my chopping block. I don't know that I need that. I'm going to declutter this ColourPop Mandalorian. I never used it. I don't know if they sell this anymore. If not, I would like to try to sell it. This shade is a little like crumbly, but I've never used it. Sigma Warm Neutrals will be added to my chopping block. As will Lunar Beauty, 12 Days of Lunar. This was his advent calendar palette. I am going to declutter Natasha Denona Sunset to sell this one. I only used it a couple of times, so let me know if you'd be interested. I think this one's been discontinued. Then I have the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream and Michaela's first palette. These are gonna be in Chopping Block. Unearthly Cosmetics Leather and Lace. This one I'm gonna get rid of now with the intent to sell. Again, let me know if you're interested. And the bottom drawer is the palettes that did not quite make my top faves, but I think I'm gonna keep all of these for now. I mean, <laughs> kind of thinking about selling Lunar Beauty Moonspell. It's not available anymore. If you're interested, let me know. But I think I'll keep everything else in here. So before we get into lips, I did have this chopping block eyeshadow from last year. I'm going to get rid of this is Lancome Rose Quartz. Really good. I just am not using it. Then for lips, these are some chopping block things I had set aside. So some of these are leftovers from this year. Some of these are winter chopping block products. So first I have this mini Charlotte Silbury lipstick in Pillow Talk Medium. I'm going to declutter that. Gonna get rid of this Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lip and Pumpkin Spice. Just a little deeper than I tend to wear. For some reason, I'm gonna put these in my chopping block again. These are the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments in La Freak and American Woman. And then the rest of these are going to stay in my chopping block. I just don't know what I feel about these Lawless Forget the Filler lipsticks. That's what I have in here as well. And I still have some of the lip liners in here, although I'm definitely keeping the lip liners. I really love those. I'm just not sure about the lipsticks. This is Femme. I wore this the other day and in person I thought it was fine, but in my video I really liked it. So, chopping block. Then we've got Wedding Day, which is definitely an interesting color for me. Then this is Mink or Minx. Yeah, Minx with an X. Then we've got Morocco, just really pretty unique shade. I did do a lip swatch of these. Fawn, interesting nude, and Daisy Girl, pretty cool tone pink. So these are gonna be chopping block as well. And then the other things I have in here would be, these are from last year. The Buxom Powerful Plump Lip Balms in Dolly Fever and Inner Glow. We'll have to see about that because I feel like the original one, the Big O, that was the color change one I found to actually dry my lips out. So we'll see if that happens with these. I have these Merit Shade Slick Lip Oils in Sangria and Falcon. I think I'm going to declutter Sangria because... It's very similar to Merlot from In Beauty Project, but I'm gonna put Falcon in my chopping block because I don't have a brown like that, but I don't know that I get the most use out of it. This is chopping block as well, this Bobbi Brown Gloss in Slow Jam. It's something that I got for free and I just wanna see if I like that color on me. Then I got this from Influencer. It's a YSL Slim Lipstick in released new it's a beautiful color but it has a really strong floral scent i want to see if i can get past then i have this kaja glossy stain in fig soda i'm thinking is the name of it and chopping block 
also there would be this Lawless Forget the Filler Balm in Posey. These are just very stiff and you really have to go around and around and around and around to build up the pigment. So I really wanted to fall in love with these and I'm not quite there. So these are all chopping block for sure. And here are some more lip products that I have on my vanity. So these are my lip balms. These are tinted balms. So this is going to be chopping block, this Sigma lip mask in Tranquil. It's essentially clear. I just feel like this is a little bit more of like a jelly texture that I like. And I want to play with it more. I really do not like or recommend this Kopari Tripeptide Lip Cloud. But I think I'm going to try to pan this next year. Just a glutton for punishment. Everything else here I'm going to keep. Then for these tinted balms. So this is something that I actually decluttered. And then I took it back. This is Bizu from RMS. I feel like I want to put this in different packaging. And I might use it more. But we'll see. I'm going to. Let's look at these. This Naturium lip balm. Alright. Then we've got my other lip products here there's a whole lot going on as you can see so these are bullet lipsticks here and again this will be chopping block soft truffle from lawless and then these mac ones I just don't love MAC lipsticks. This is Hug Me. And Patisserie. So we will see about those. But I really enjoy everything else. Liquid lipsticks are all stained even though this is not my type of color. It is nice to have. Because it's different, I got that as a free gift. I'm going to keep all these glosses. I feel pretty good about them. These are all going to stay. Okay, let's look over here at lip liners. I think all of these will stay. This one will be chopping block. This Buxom Power Line in Hush Hush Henna. It's just a little mini it's a nice formula i have it in dolly but i want to see if i like it in that color then let me pull this out so we can get to my more miscellaneous lippies this will be a chopping block my tart lippy lingerie and exposed i love this in the past but i just don't know that it's very me i'll hold on to that Keep that. All right, we've got a few more chopping blocks here. L'Oreal Feathery Fleur has a really intense floral scent that's not my fave. Then this Peach Fizz, Peach Fuzz, Kaja Glossy Stain. Then I've got two. Kaja Juicy Glass Lip Oils in Raspberry Refresher and Plum Paloma. Those will be Chopping Block. This Merit Lip Oil in Jeté will be Chopping Block. This is one of those pH changing ones, which is not quite my thing. Okay, so here are the other lippies that I dug out of here that I'm not so sure about. So we've got ugh, these two mini buxom glosses. This one is Natalie, and this one is Gabby. I would really love to use them up, but I have a lot of things to use up, so we'll see. I would also love to use these up, but I'm not sure. I have another color that I like a little bit more. These are the Cali Ray Glazed and Infused Lip Glosses in Orchid Ranch and Likely Story. Oh, all these are chopping block, by the way. Dose of Colors Lip Oil that I should not have gotten. Pretty cute. Seems more like just like a smooth gloss than an oil. Buxom White Russian Sparkle. I want to see if I like that color in me. I actually don't even like the original White Russian. Then I have Baby Doll. 
from Lawless, their balm. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. But Lawless Georgie, I will put in my chopping block. Then this will be chopping block as well. Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm in Candy Cane Bang. I'm excited that this is mint scent, but I don't know if this color is gonna scare me too much. Then this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lipstick in Rose. I just wanna see if I feel like I need this one. I remember I really liked the way that it looked in a video and I only spent a couple bucks on that. And then this Jaclyn Lip Lacquer in Cookies. It's one that I decluttered and then recluttered in the past. But wow, I mean, if I got rid of all of those, which I probably won't, I would feel really good about this, like, basically overflow lip gloss section. And actually, Sally, I feel like I need to put Buxom Sandy in this pile because I'm just not as into it as I was before, and I feel like I should not have repurchased it. But yeah, oh my gosh. Let me put everything on the floor and show them to you and count them up. So here are all the things I'm decluttering. We have 49 products. I thought about grabbing something from my chopping block pile to make it 50, but I don't want to make any rash decisions here. But please let me know if there's anything here that you would be interested in purchasing and we can talk prices. Definitely if you're interested in anything, Phytosurgeons and Cosmetics, any of these palettes and Cosmetics palettes here, Natasha, Denona, just whatever, let me let me know. I'm really happy only a few of these things are being thrown away and that most of these things will be up for grabs. I did not think I was going to actually get rid of this many products. So this makes me feel really good. All right, y'all. Here's all my chopping block stuff. Guess how many things you think I have? 98. <laughs> Eyeshadow palettes. Face palettes. Face. Miscellaneous eyes. Lips. <laughs> I did not think there would be this much stuff. It is so insane that between my chopping block and my declutter, that's 150 products. That's insane. And the fact that all my drawers are totally full after taking this many things out is crazy. I feel like I need to organize this separate from my collection so it doesn't get lost. And I can make myself go in there and pull some things out. But yeah, I would definitely continue to reference this video throughout the year so I can update you guys in my monthly declutter and chopping block updates. So guys, that was my final makeup declutter for 2023 and the items that I would like to focus on in my chopping block for 2024. I would love to hear your thoughts if you have any of these products and maybe if you guys could give me some suggestions on ways to use them or for any of the palettes if you have color combo suggestions. And again, please let me know if you're interested in purchasing anything. That would be amazing. But I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.